Jesus brought me healing at the cross to free me from the curse he paid the cost he conquered principalities in the depths of hell rose up from the grave alive and well that's why I don't love hurting I just love you Jesus became sick to make me well. He suffered every pain of sin. His precious blood was spilled. And by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. That's why I don't love hurting. I just love you. Just a love healing. I don't a love lying. No, I don't a love stealing. But I do a love loving and talking God's covenant. Oh, yes, I'm seated with Jesus in the heavenly place. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We don't love hurting and we don't love lying and stealing. I love the words of this song and it's also talking about healing. It's the really healing amazing. The power of God. Yeah. And let's just elaborate on that chorus a bit. It says, I don't love hurting, I just love healing. I don't love lying. No, I don't love stealing. Who comes to steal? Mm. It's the devil who right. comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. And the devil comes to steal our rightful blessing, which right. is healing. Yeah. And then the end of the chorus, it says, you know, it's God's covenant. Mm. We're talking God's covenant. That's right. And that was what Jesus did at the cross for us. He shed his blood for us. And through all that, you know, we find we receive the blessing of healing. Praise God. We don't love hurting. We just love healing. Mm. That's what we've been talking about is healing is God's mm. will. And you can have healing today mm. as you believe God's word. Yeah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we've been talking about <coughs> you know, healing. And previously we touched on the blood of Jesus and what the blood has done for us. And let's kind of recap again you know, what we've been going through. You know, the blood that was shed on the cross was taking away our sickness and our disease. When they beat Jesus 39 times, he was taking the curse of sickness so mm. you can have the blessing of healing. That's why mm. you don't have to allow hurting any longer. Yeah. You know, you just allow healing. Mm. You know, not lying or stealing because healing is your blessing. Yeah. It belongs to you. Mm. Praise God. And then we yeah. also spoke about the power of our words, mm. the power of life and death is in the power of the tongue. Right. And so we always need to speak life-filled words mm. and words that agree with God's word. Yeah. Because God is not the author of sickness and disease. Mm. And he said, I have come to give you life and life in abundance. Right. And then he also said, it is my will that you prosper and be in health. It is. So God is a good God yeah. and the devil is a bad devil. And you know, one of the <coughs> basic scriptures you can start with is by his stripes. I'm healed. Amen. You know, Jesus became sick so that you can be well. Mm. It was an exchange that took place on the cross. 
the curse was taken so you can walk in that blessing of healing mm. and that is what is so amazing is that it's rightfully yours because Jesus Christ was going all about doing good and healing all that were oppressed to the devil because God was with him mm. and today you can know that God is with you as well yeah. because he has promised that he wants to live in us mm. you know he wants to make his home inside our heart yeah. and so God's will is for you to be healed mm. that's a blessing to walk in healing yeah. and you know talking about the power of our words mm. you know this scripture in 1st Peter 3:10 it says he who will love life and see good days let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile and sometimes we only think you know evil words and bad words are curse filled words you know stuff that you know we think are prohibited you know just anyways mm. but you know god looks at evil words as you know negative words against his word mm. you know script uh, words that don't um line up themselves with god's word yeah that's also negative words mm. to god you know and we don't have to dwell on those anymore mm. because when you know that god's word brings life to you that's all you want to speak out of your lips mm. because it's truly the working word as you speak it it's working from your head right down to your feet mm. into every part of your organ and every part of your system it's working it's the working word yeah god has sent his word and healed you yeah. and delivered you from your destructions mm. and it and says yeah. here if we will love life and if we desire to see good days to refrain our tongue from evil you know we need to put a you know lock on our lips from speaking bad words yeah. i mean I don't think there's anybody out there who doesn't want to love life yeah. and see good days. We all want to love life and see good days. But it all goes down to the things that we're saying out of our lips. Mm. And you can change, you know, words that you've been speaking. Mm. You don't have to think that you're controlled by them any longer. Yeah. God wants to set you free from, you know, things that have happened in the past and all. You can begin again. Yeah. You can rise up with confidence. because healing belongs to you. Yeah. You can get your life back together. God wants to give your life back together. No matter what the enemy has brought against you and what others have said, God mm. is saying, I'm accepting you. I'm yeah. bringing healing to your body. You can see another yeah. example in the gospels in the book of Mark about a woman who came to Jesus for healing in Mark chapter 5 and she also made some really strong declarations. really brought her faith and got her healing actually in mark chapter 5 and verse 25 we see a certain woman who had an issue of blood 12 years she had suffered many things of many physicians and she had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse and then it says when she heard of jesus she came behind and touched his garment she came in the press behind and touched his garment. In other words, there was a crowd there. She mm. had to press her way through yeah. the crowd. And was 28 says, for she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Praise God. Yeah, and was 30 says, Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. he turned and said who touched my clothes and then we go on to see the disciples and they tell jesus you know there are so many people around you how can you say who touched me but jesus felt healing power go out of him mm. and i like what he says in verse 34 he says daughter your faith has made you whole mm. go in peace be whole of your plague so not only was the woman healed but her entire body was made whole mm. from her mind all the way down to her feet yeah. she had received healing mm. not just and in that you know ailment that she went through yeah. she also received healing in her mind mm. that's what you know the word whole means to be completely well yeah. from your mind all the way down to your feet she received her complete healing yeah and you know if we back up to verse 25 and was 26 it says she suffered many things of many physicians now this woman you know she went to physicians and doctors and she you know looked to them you know because as you know if if you're suffering that's the natural thing you would go to do mm. but there was only so much that a physician could do for her or physicians in her case 
and it says she suffered many things and then it says she spent all she had mm. i mean she was in debt yeah and it says also she grew worse nothing better but worse and when she came to the end of herself somebody comes and tells her about jesus and then it says she goes and you know i like what she said about you know all this she said if i may touch but his clothes i shall be made whole that was faith that was her faith she spoke what she believed and she received mm. as she had believed and confessed yeah god's word truly is our medicine yeah you can we see that it worked like medicine yeah. Yeah. if we also speak just like this woman you know she chose to keep saying this mm. in another version it says she kept saying within herself mm. if i will touch jesus clothes i will be made whole and we have a book here in front of us the bible that gives us many words that we can speak over ourselves and receive healing the same way yeah i'm as as we read this i'm thinking you know god's word is is like medicine yeah, it's it amazing is. you know god's word is like medicine mm. it works you know as you take medicine you expect it to work in your body the way it should yeah so god's word it works even greater it's yeah. it's greater medicine for you and mm. you can take it as medicine Yeah. Just like for example, you may say how do I take it like medicine? Again, it's through the words that you speak. You know, by his stripes I am healed. That is your medicine. Mm. He has sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions. God's word is my life and health. Mm. By taking those constantly into your spirit, you're taking medicine into your body. Yeah. You don't have to worry about any after effects, mm. you know. That word it'll work completely you can take it over and over and over again yeah that's the blood of jesus it's your medicine that's what jesus did yeah. for us at the cross in I mean, yeah another promise in exodus chapter 15 it says in verse 26 the latter part says or the the from let's read from the top it says if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the lord your god and do that which is right in his sight and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of the diseases which have come upon the egyptians for i am the lord that heals you that's god's promise to you mm. today i am the lord that heals you that's another good medicine we can take yeah you can say over yourself you are god lord. you are the lord who heals me mm. you don't put disease on me your will is for me to be healed and made whole. Yeah, that's God's very nature. He's our physician. Yeah. He's Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. Right. And I believe God is healing many people out there today of headaches and um mm. mental torment and all kinds of physical ailments as the word is being spoken. God is moving and he's bringing healing yeah. to your body. You don't have to worry how he's going to do it. he's fixing new body parts back into place yeah and he's you know bringing life to your entire being sounds like a good one mind. fixing of body parts yeah you know there may be things going all wrong in your body that you don't even know about mm. you know and maybe doctors couldn't even diagnose situations but god created you and he knows everything that went into you to to make you a living being and he can fix all those broken parts those missing things those damaged cells mm. he's a god who can heal the broken hearted and he's a god who can heal our insides we don't even know what's going on in this physical body but god does and he's our healer and it's very simple you know you just got to believe that word mm. take it and say lord i believe by faith yeah and i receive it just like this woman She must have heard about Jesus. You know, somewhere down the line, somebody would have said, you know, there's a man named Jesus. He's going around healing all kinds of yeah. people. You can you you should try. You should go and see. You know, he's out there to heal you. Mm. And she was so excited. She somehow pressed through the crowd. You can see her, you know, imagine her excitement. She's yeah. pressing through the crowd to go to Jesus. That's Because, how we should be, mm. you know, to receive healing. Yeah. It doesn't matter what's going around me mm. doesn't matter you know who is trying to stop me mm. because there will be you know times where the enemy especially he tries to stop us from receiving our healing right. by putting wrong thoughts in our mind but we should cast those thoughts down and say no Jesus is my healer yeah. and i believe i receive my healing and there's also good scripture for healing for the mind 
You know, the Bible says that in 2 Timothy 1, 7, he says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. The spirit of fear doesn't come from God. No. A spirit of fear can actually affect your entire being. It causes, you know, your nerves to feel, um, you know, shaken up and easily moved. And that's what a spirit of fear does. It and even yeah. bring sickness, fear of sickness. Exactly. And you know, what fear also does is it, it stops you from doing things for the Lord. It'll, it'll say, you can't you know, ever do that. You're not meant to do that. You're not bold enough. You're not strong enough. And it'll keep your body paralyzed mm. if you give you know, room to that. But you don't have to be in that any longer. Yeah. You don't have to let a spirit of fear control you. You can say, Lord, according to your word, in 2 Timothy 1, 7, you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. God is setting you free from all kinds of fear and all kinds of disease because He is the Lord who heals you. Mm. Praise God. And yeah. Yeah. And uh, another promise we can take from the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and also chapter 33. It says, God is saying this to you, I will restore health unto you and I will heal you of your wounds. I will bring health and cure. I will cure them and reveal unto you abundance of peace and truth. God is saying here, I will restore health unto you and I will heal you of your wounds. You know, are you feeling like you're lacking in health? Mm -hmm. You know, that you're growing weak and, you know, negative reports have come across and, you know, not given you much hope? You can say this scripture and say, Lord, you said in your word and I take this. I, you will restore health unto me. And you said, you heal me of all my wounds. And then in Jeremiah 33, verse 6, you said, Lord, you will bring health and cure. I will cure them. Or God is saying, I will cure you. Mm. So you say, Lord, you cure me. And you reveal unto me abundance of peace and truth. And I love those words where it says, I will restore health unto you. Mm. We could have you know, lived in years of um, sickness. sickness, you know, wasted years that have caused us to live defeated and sick all mm. our lives. God is saying today that He wants to restore all those wasted years that you've lived in sickness. Because yeah. the enemy, he's the one who comes and steals and kills and destroys. He comes to steal our life, steal our enjoyment. Yeah. But today God is saying, I'm going to restore all those years. Mm. What do you have to do when, as you hear this? You've got to say, Lord, I believe that word. Mm. I take that word, that your, your word of restoration that you're mm. restoring it unto me. And right now we want to pray a prayer with you and believe that God is restoring all those years. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah, let's pray right now. Lord Jesus, we come before you, Lord. Father, we thank you that you are the restorer. You are the healer of all our wounds. Lord, you said that you bring us cure and abundance of peace. And right now we take authority of you know, every mental torment and every spirit of fear that is troubling the minds of these people. We command you in the name of Jesus, get out and go right now. Father, we thank you that you have sent your word and heal them of every disease and every destruction. Thank you, Father, we receive it. And if, you know, you know those of you out there, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, you can pray a very simple prayer like this and Shalom will repeat it and you can repeat it as we pray. Let's say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you. I ask you. To come into my heart. To come into my heart. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. Of all my sins. Of all my sins. Lord. Lord. From this day forward. From this day forward. I want to make you my Lord and Savior. I want to make you my Lord and Savior. I receive your blood. I receive your blood. I receive the price that you paid for me on the cross. I receive the price that you paid for me on the cross. And I thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. That you are changing my heart. That you are changing my heart. And filling me. And filling me. With a brand new start. With a brand new start. I receive it, Lord. I receive it, Lord. By faith. By faith. From this day forward. From this day forward. I am born again. I am born again. My life is brand new. My life is brand new. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so you can believe today that Jesus has come to live on the inside of you. 
No longer do you have to live a life full of doubt and worry because He is on the inside. He is there to strengthen you and give you grace as you go on this journey of life.